Welcome to Inside the Legend, where we bring you history and fiction's most notorious figures and pour hot, steaming light on history's mysteries. Join Chaz Hannigan and Rhonda Cocapelli as they probe Inside the Legend. Good evening, and welcome to Inside the Legend. I'm your host, Chaz Hannigan. My co-host, Rhonda Cocopelli, couldn't be here due to her addiction to cockfighting. And believe me, there's very little fighting going on. My guest tonight has a reputation for similar indulgences. And, like Rhonda, her name has become synonymous with unabashed sluttery. Please welcome Jezebel. Hi, Chaz. I'm over here. <laughs> so, Ms. Bell, you are history's most notorious whore. <laughs> How does that feel? Well, I can tell you it doesn't feel good, Chaz. Not one little bit. My condolences on your frigidity. Is that because you prefer the company of women? Not since college. <laughs> no, I've seen the error of my ways and have since totally reformed. I've devoted myself to missionary services. A very popular position with the clergy, I'm told. It's a classic. <laughs> now I'm touring high schools in the Midwest, teaching kids about the importance of abstinence. Yeah, I'm not a fan of abstinence myself. I find that the licorice smell tends to linger on the breath. Oh, no, Chaz. <laughs> Alcohol is the devil's drink. If you drink that you're gonna need a second virginity. And how many virginities are you on, Miss Bell? A lady doesn't like to keep track. Yes, I'm not a fan of math myself. So tell us, when did you have this epiphany about your sluttastic behavior? Well, I guess it was about five seconds before Jehu pushed me out the window. Defenestration is indeed a powerful message from mm -hmm. on high. How would you say your life has changed as a result? Well, aside from hitting the pavement at terminal velocity, splitting my skull open, and having my remains torn apart by dogs, I'd say my life is much more fulfilling. And graphic. <laughs> well, we're almost out of time, but before we go, do you have any words of wisdom for the audience at home about your dirty, whorish ways? Yes, I do. Thank you for the opportunity. Ladies, please don't live your life like I did, a powerful woman influencing a dynasty where they're cunning. Ling, put aside those selfish thoughts of thinking for yourself or having a career and pursue instead a life of chastity. Oh, and if you're really horny, it doesn't count if you do it in the bus. Okay. Hmm, a very personal testimony with very uncomfortable ramifications. Oh, not after the first few times. Well, that's clearly all the time we have for tonight. Join us next week when we ask what is truly the world's oldest profession, prostitution? or telling Polish jokes. Until next time, remember, we're a legend in your own mind. Is that like your catchphrase? It's something I like to say. Can you make say. one for me? Well, you don't just make one. Make one for me. Let me start it with Jezebel. Jezebel, a big hole. Yeah, you put me on the spot. What Jezebel, a, a big hole? Well, it seems a to- A big hole? It seems to encapsulate you all in one pithy phrase. Maybe Jezebel. Several holes for God. That's horrifying.